I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He'll return it from the one. They'll bring him down at the 26. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. That's a great tackle at the 27 yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it second and eight. It's the tailback. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. A run like that usually ignites the offense. So let's see if they can stay on a roll. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop around the 14-yard line. because his defense had so much penetration into the backfield. He would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Baylor could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Harris from the one. He's tackled at the 30. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. He's going left. Zips it right. He's got it with room to run. To the 20, the 10. And he scores! Touchdown! They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. He adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 70-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Louisiana Tech is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run up the middle. Tackle 
tackle at the 33. Call it a gain of one yard. Third down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a four-yard gain there for the tailback. Well, the important thing is they were able to pick up the first down. And they're really starting to show how much they're relying on this halfback to do all of the work. And right now, he's looking pretty good. He makes his way to about the 48. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Ebner gets the call again. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. That'll make it second and seven. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Gain of two yards. That'll make it third and five. Third down again. to scramble, but he's sacked. That's a loss of five yards. Fourth down. Powell, back to return it. Taken down at the 17 yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Tackle after a decent pickup. Louisiana Tech is up four. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Quick pass and he's right there to knock it away. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Sneed, back deep to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he just got stood up right there. The Bulldogs really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fires quickly to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. Down at about the 37 yard line. And that'll be a first down on the six yard pass. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. He's got it out to his tight end. He's pushed out of bounds around the 25 yard line. but he can't shake the defense. That makes it second and six. Got a man, watch out here. Touchdown Bears. That was a well-drawn-up play 
for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route, and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's taken down right around the 34. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. Baylor's got a three-point lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Here's the halfback. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Six-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Sneed will be the return man. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Baylor has a three-point lead. Love it. On the handoff. Got some open field. And he's level at the 48-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Hit and taken down. Runs right for a nice game. The misdirection play gets him four yards. That makes it second and six. And now he's got room to run. Up the middle for a nice game. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 23. That's a game of two. That'll make a third and one. Check, check. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Number 87, he intended to see him the way. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Baylor is up by three. The kick is up, and he's got it. They 
line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. What? This is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy. But you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in into the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And he hits him hard at the 18 yard line. Fourth and long here after the sack. Sneed is back deep to return. He drops it. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. and hard at the 46. Baylor with a six-point lead. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he is drilled at the 43. Flips it middle to the running back. That's a great tackle at the 36. That's a seven yard gain. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Gets out to around the 28. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. He lets it fly. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A nice seven play, 55 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Open field, out of bounds, right around the 36-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From their own 36-yard line, first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Fires it out. 
That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Just throws this one away. We're at the one minute mark, first half. And he's got his man, and he's tackled at the 49. Harris picks up around five yards with that catch. Louisiana Tech is going to use their first time out of the half here. Looks middle, got his back. Tackled right around the 48-yard line. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Yeah, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution of these teams from this quarterback and his wide receiver. Because again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Well, we played a half of football. Baylor's got a 13-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're gonna wanna make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You can, they can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bears continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. With a quick throw. And he got it to the sophomore. He's tackled at about the 41. And a great pass play that time. And here we see just how much this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That brings up second and one. Runs it left for a decent game. So the option play works as designed, and the offense picks up a first down. Good read by the quarterback. He made a quick pitch off to the running back, and they came away with a pretty good game. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. The 
It'll bring him down around the 19-yard line. Call it a game of 12 yards. Third down. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Caught down at the 14-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he hits the PAT. So a nine play, 77 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 20 to 14. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Baylor is up by six. He's to the 40. He's brought down in the open field. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Red, two, three, go! And he's tackled right away. Throws it in a hurry. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. And he's taken down at the 15. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, they might be able to force him into a mistake. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball of the 14. Fires that quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at the 15-yard line. Need the return man. Sneed fields it at the 42. He makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. The Bulldogs have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. We're about set to start things up again. Baylor up six. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. No game. 
makes it second and ten. Hey, hey, you don't want to see me. You don't want it. My three. And he's taken down at the 42 yard line. The 41. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it fourth and four. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He tackles him for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 24-yard line, third down. Flares it out to the right, and that's to the fullback. And down he goes, right around the 24-yard line. They're coming after this punter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Baylor's lead is six. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Black Baylor five, with a six-point lead. Hey, hey, hey. Goes completely stopped immediately. That makes it second and two. Gets to about the 44-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. it out to about the 30. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from this safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield, this guy just flies all over the field. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. That makes it third and six. Quick toss. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. The wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Mike three. 
This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Green eye, green eye. Green eye. He's scrambling. They don't get it. So the two-point conversion is no good. Here they try to put the ball in the air. Unfortunately, they were unable to convert. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. to his receiver and he's tackled at the 29. Less than three minutes in the game. And a quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds around the 30 yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. his running back and it's knocked out. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Makes it out to about the 19. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. their first of the half. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Runs right for a nice game. Louisiana Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Touchdown Bears. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice five-play, 30-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. Let's see if this offense can reestablish some confidence after being stopped on downs the last time they were out on the field. Strike to his receiver, no good. Second and 10, ball on the 25. They come out in an empty backfield. He's going left. This one will fall incomplete.
Makes the grab and steps out right away. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Short pass, middle of the field. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! That makes it second and six. The spike will stop the clock. Just over a minute left. He's hit and taken down. Kill, kill. Panther two. That makes it first and ten. Kill, kill. Panther two. Go. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. That'll bring up second and Spikes the ball. That makes it third and three. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here comes the pressure. And they got him. Kill, kill, kill. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, Baylor 33, Louisiana Tech 14. Well, that's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. <laughs>